mathematics, a word that strikes fear in many hearts and minds. The science that underpins all other sciences is frequently misused, mistrusted, and misunderstood. Some people believe that the study of mathematics is an unnecessary ordeal, and that math does not affect their life in any way whatsoever. Oh, really? Let's see now. Do they enjoy driving their cars, using their computers and iPhones? If you peel off the material layers of our modern conveniences, what you'll find at their core is a neat bunch of numbers and equations fused together by impeccable logic. In other words, mathematics. Many think that math can be handled only by the gifted. Not true. Under proper instruction, anyone can have a piece of it. All it takes is an open mind and a desire to learn. And, as I just said, a good teacher. In one respect, mathematics is unforgiving. When treated badly, it bites back. Here is a brief example where a common classroom error of elementary algebra allows us to prove that the Earth is flat. We start with the trivial equality a squared minus a squared is equal to a squared minus a squared. On the left-hand side, we take out a common factor of a. On the right-hand side, we use the formula for factoring the difference of two squares. a times a minus a is equal to a plus a times a minus a. Or, what is the same, a times a minus a is equal to 2a times a minus a. Students are always told to simplify mathematical expressions as much as possible, for example, by dividing through common factors. Applying this principle in the above equality, we divide by the common factor a times a minus a and obtain 1 is equal to 2. We simplify this further by subtracting 1 from both sides. Thus, 0 is equal to 1. Or, by symmetry, 1 is equal to 0. Suppose that the Earth is a perfect sphere, and let C be its curvature. Roughly speaking, curvature is a measure of the amount by which the shape of an object differs from being flat. Multiplying both sides above by C, we arrive at the equality C is equal to zero. Therefore, the curvature of the Earth is zero, which, in layman's terms, means that the Earth is flat. Yeah, right. So, what went wrong with the algebra? The experts will have seen the error at once. Those who haven't should try and think about it a little longer. And if they still don't see the answer, they can find it in my new book. This book is a blend of humor, educational puzzles, stories, and satirical comments on some aspects of society. You thought math was unimportant and boring? Reading this book might change your mind. It shows that mathematics is not only an essential component of our education, but also a great source of fun. Go on, give it a try.